Imagine the snap, but instead of wiping out just half of the living population of the universe, it wipes out 100% of all intelligent beings. What do you think would happen to planet Earth? What would happen if we all weren't here? Well, I personally believe that number one is the most plausible outcome, so stay tuned for that. Here are 10 things that would happen if humans suddenly disappeared. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The world in total darkness. These days, there's a lot of things that we take for granted. Electricity, for instance. All we care about is there's juice coming out of the power outlets in our homes. All we care about is keeping our beloved gadgets working. On a wider scale, most of the world will simply grind to a halt if electricity fails. Believe it or not, only a relatively few people worldwide are directly responsible for keeping our homes, cities, and countries powered up. These people work 24-7 just to make sure that power plants all over the world are in good working order. Someone has to be there 24-7, otherwise it just takes a matter of hours for everything to fall apart. Yes, if humans somehow vanish in an instant, the world's power plants will completely shut down due to lack of people maintaining them. And as I've said earlier, it would only take a few hours for this to happen. Lights will stop working, entire cities and countries plunged into total darkness. And then the vampires take over. Number 9. Global Nuclear Meltdown Much of the world's cities are powered by nuclear power plants. Although they are remarkably efficient in what they were built to do, there's always the risk of disaster that's permanently linked to them. I think I don't have to remind you of the Chernobyl and Fukushima disasters just to give you an idea on how devastating these nuclear meltdowns can actually be. Now, if humans disappear from the face of the Earth, imagine Chernobyl, but on a global scale. Right now, the only thing that's keeping these nuclear power plants from being nuclear bombs are the people working on it. These plants have massive cooling towers which require a lot of water to keep everything from overheating. Its water supply needs to be replenished regularly, so without humans to do all that, all the water from the cooling towers will evaporate, and will eventually lead to massive nuclear explosions worldwide. Some people even think that these explosions would be bigger than Chernobyl and Fukushima combined. Any living creature within the blast radius would naturally be eliminated. Those who survived the blast would also eventually die due to radiation poisoning. Number 8. Massive Flooding have you ever wondered why underground tunnels and subway lines remain water-free even though they were built below water table level? Well, that answer is one word. Pumps. Yes, pumps keep these areas flood-free. If these pumps somehow stop working, like let's say when the electricity gets cut, with no electricity and no one around to operate the pumps, underground tunnels will soon begin to fill with water. It actually wouldn't take long for this to happen after the electricity is cut. Many experts believe flooding may happen in just three days, and the floodwaters will eventually find its way to the streets, turning many well-known avenues into temporary rivers. Oh, and one more thing, flooding will also have one more unfortunate side effect. Without power, sewage would slowly back up and begin to flood, polluting the surrounding lakes and the rivers. The sewage would likely poison a number of animals who'd managed to survive thus far. Number 7. Shooting Stars Shooting stars are some of the most amazing things that you can see in the night sky. They are extremely rare as well, so consider yourself lucky if you see one and make a wish. But in a world without humans, experts think that that would happen more commonly. The thing is, instead of being tiny meteorites burning up as it enters the Earth's atmosphere, they'll be made out of chunks of metal, junk, and old satellites that we sent out over the years. Experts all agree that in about a year into the world's existence without humans, the night sky will begin to look very different as satellites begin to fall. Thousands of objects sent by man into orbit will slowly start to fall over the course of several years, appearing like shooting stars in the sky. Some of the furthest satellites could continue to orbit for decades before eventually falling back to Earth. Don't get me wrong, old satellites fall back to Earth even now, but they are few and far in between because most satellites on Earth's orbit are actually working and are maintained either by people here on the ground or by astronauts sent up there periodically. Number 6. Mother Nature Reclaims What Is Hers Around 25 years after humans disappear from the face of the Earth, Mother Nature would have already claimed what's hers. Whatever nuclear fallout that's left from the nuclear plants that melted down would have already dropped to a safe level for living things, especially plants to thrive. Without maintenance workers to regularly clean them out, the once paved streets and highways will soon be overrun with vegetation. The concrete itself won't survive this onslaught, as the roots would soon break them down into tiny pieces as they crumble to soil in time. Number 5. 
steel structures start to crumble. Steel is such an amazing material. City skylines wouldn't be as magnificent as it is today without steel. I mean, can you imagine a world without the Eiffel Tower and the Golden Gate Bridge? No? Well, neither can I. But the fact is, steel structures aren't going to last forever, especially without regular maintenance. Steel does deteriorate especially when left out in the elements without protection. Although admittedly, any structure made of steel can remain standing for a very long time. But one thing is definite, it's not going to stand there forever. Experts believe that around 300 years after humans, structures made out of metal and steel would have degraded over time and would have simply crumbled to the ground. Number 4. The Decline of Domesticated Animals Only a few weeks after we disappear from the face of the Earth, many of our domesticated animals and pets will succumb to starvation and dehydration. Very sad, I know, but these are just kind of the facts that we have here. Most likely, many of our furry and feathered friends would be locked up in our homes in their cages or in barns when the human race dies out. And without having no one to attend to them, these animals that we bred for our leisure or enterprise will kick the bucket because they'd have no means to sustain or feed themselves. The smart ones that may find a way out of our homes may survive a few days longer. But these domestic breeds of pets, especially the smaller ones like your Aunt Chihuahua or your frisky little terrier, will end up being on the menu of a much larger predatory wildlife that may have already encroached upon places that humans used to occupy. Suffice to say that the extinction of humanity would also be the extinction of the Shih Tzu and other small animal breeds. Number 3. Wildlife Takes Over Speaking of animals, when the massive cities that we built and the suburbs that we once occupied have been devoid of our presence, animal life will begin to return to these places. After all, it was theirs to begin with. We just forced them out of there. A good example of this scenario in a microcosm is Chernobyl. When the area was turned into a no-man's land after the devastating meltdown of its nuclear power plant, wildlife and even vegetation returned to the region. Wild dogs and birds have returned and began bringing back life, albeit a radioactive and highly contaminated one, to Chernobyl. On a massive scale, wildlife is bound to return to places that were once their natural habitats, marking new territories and steadily repopulating areas. And now it's time for the day's best pick. Today's pick shows us the very familiar skyline of New York City, but with a massive difference to what we're used to seeing. Instead of waters surrounding the Statue of Liberty, we see a massive desert. Would such a thing be possible when humans suddenly disappear? Well, let's find out next with number two. Rise of the Deserts. Humans have a knack for terraforming. That means we find a place that would normally be uninhabitable, but through sheer will and ingenuity, we can make the harshest of places inhabitable. This includes deserts, and I know that one all too well. When we're all gone, the cities we have built in desert lands such as Las Vegas and Dubai will be devoured by sand and turned back into its state as a desert. With only the monuments that we have built and the structures that we put up as ghosts of what was once our flourishing civilization, these desert cities will be nothing more than just arid landscapes against the blazing backdrop of the sun. Even massive areas in the Western Hemisphere, such as Mexico and California, will turn back to the parched landscapes that they used to be as homes and buildings begin to deteriorate and the heat from the sun dries up the land once more. The question is, how about places not built in desert lands like New York, for instance? It's highly unlikely because there's a more plausible fate for the Big Apple, which is next on our list. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. Waterworld. At the height of mankind's expansion of territories and the great discoveries of new lands, we have paved ways to new regions by building dams and forcing water out of places where they should be. Delta cities, man-made islands, and places where water has been diverted to create a hospitable place to create habitat will be swept away by the very same element we have tried to command once we have all bitten the dust as a species. Without anyone to maintain them, dam walls, no matter how thick and fortified, will break and release tons and tons of water. When it does, many areas will be sunk in water, turning them back into the rivers and swamplands that they used to be. Bodies of water, such as the Colorado River, will once again flow into the Gulf of Mexico, and the Hoover Dam will crumble to give back the river that it kept contained for decades, if not centuries. Furthermore, sea levels are continuously rising, and the disappearance of man won't do anything to stop it. That spells the end for all coastal cities and other nearby places, which sadly includes New York City. 
Do you know of any other possible outcomes when man totally disappears from the face of the earth? Let us know in the comments down below. Also check out our other channels of amazing videos. As always, thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time. Later everybody.